and easy. Time for your Japanese lesson. First, just relax and listen. Today, we'll learn words that describe position. Japanese! Hi, it's me, Smugu. I've got more easy Japanese language tips for you today. First, we'll learn the words that describe the position of an item someone is talking about. The words are kore, sore, are. It's similar to words like this and that. Now, let's listen to the Japanese again. これは T シャツです。それはポロシャツです。あれはコートです。Did you get it? The item near the speaker is これ。The item that is near the person he is talking to is それ。The item that is far away from both people is are. The words change from kore, sore to are, depending on the distance between the speaker and the item in subject. The words begin with the sounds ko, so, a. These parts describe the distance. In conversations that describe distance, these parts will appear. So listen for the sounds ko, so, a. Aliona and Shari are traveling in Japan. There's a crowd of people a bit away from them. It seems like it's the person in the magazine that Aleona has. In this conversation, ko, so, a were used as kono, sono, ano. Kono, sono, ano are used with nouns. In this case, the noun was hito. Hito means person. If you remember, no connects two words. Kono hito, sono hito, ano hito is another example of this. First, we learn kore, sore, are, which refer to an item and its position. Now, we learn kono, sono, ano, which modify a noun. Now, let's pay attention to the usage of ko, so, a, and listen again. Let's review. When Aleona pointed to the picture, she said, Kono hito. Shari looked at the magazine and said, Sono hito. When the two look at the celebrity standing far away, they said, Ano hito. Here's another thing to learn. Ko, so, a is also used when describing the distance to a place. The place where the speaker is would be koko. A place that's a bit away from the speaker is soko. For an even farther place, a is added to soko and it becomes asoko. 
And that's how you use ko, so, a for places. Japanesey. Kanjizi. Japan is filled with vibrant colors. Red, blue, yellow, green. When written in kanji, it is aka, ao, ki, midori. Today, we'll learn kanji that represent colors. This is Fushiminari Shrine in Kyoto. Over a thousand red gates called tori are lined up. The color red adorns the lips of an apprentice geisha. The kanji for red is aka. In autumn, the leaves turn a red hue. It's a clear blue sky. The kanji for blue is ao. Indigo dyeing displays many different kinds of blue. Yuzu is a citrus fruit. It is a bright yellow. The yellow's vivid color in kanji is ki. Ginkgo leaves that fall on the ground lay a yellow carpet on the streets. This kind of pottery known as oribeyaki has been loved by the Japanese. This is the kanji for green, midori. Look! Plants that lay dormant in winter burst with life in spring and paint the mountains green. Japanesey! Today, we're learning about kore, sore, are, which describe position. Now, there's another related word I'd like for you to learn. Dore. When there's a selection of items, dore is used to ask which item is being referred to. Let's see how this word is used. This is a food shop on a shopping street. They sell dried fish and seaweed used to create broth. Shari just said, Nan is a variation of Nani, which means what? is asking what Sore is. But it seems like the man does not know what Shari is referring to. The new word just appeared, dore. The man did not know which item she was referring to, so he asked, dore desu ka? Dore is used to ask which item out of a selection is in question. Kore desu ka? Shari was asking about niboshi, which are small dried fish. She used a word that describes the position and was able to get the information she was wondering about. Now, let's watch again. Hi. 
Shari didn't know the name of the item, but she was able to converse using kore, sore, are, and dore. The phrase sore wa nan desu ka is especially useful for you can ask the name of various items. Japanese. More kanji z. We have more kanji about color. This time it's black and white. Kuro and shiro. It's winter time. Northern Japan is covered in white. This is the kanji for white, shiro. The dress to represent a bride's pure heart is also shiro. With each coat of lacquer, Lacquerware achieves a deeper tone of black. This is the kanji for black, kuro. This charcoal looks like blooming black flowers. They're used during tea ceremonies. Japanese. Phrase easy. This is a Japanese sweet shop in Tokyo. The owner, David Thane, just loves the Japanese language. The shop staff, Ray, speaks English fluently. Customers here come for a taste of Japanese treats and the Japanese language. Oh, hi. Hi. This is my friend Sabrina. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. On the menu today, we have the expression Let's take a look. The word in the middle of this phrase, onegai, means a favor. Are you asking me to do something? But the phrase isn't asking someone for a favor. In this instance, its meaning is a bit more casual, more like, let's get along. Also, this phrase is almost always used at the end of business emails. In this case, it means best wishes or best regards. You know, yoroshiku onegaishimasu, that might be one of the most confusing uh, common Japanese expressions. Um, you know, if somebody is asking you to do something specifically, then, you know, we kind of understand what it means. But a lot of times Japanese use it when there's nothing really specific that they're asking you to do, so. I agree. The first time I heard yoroshiku onegaishimasu, I wondered what they were asking me to do, but it turns out it was just a form of greeting. So we were meeting for the first time and she wasn't asking for anything. <laughs> <laughs> so how should I reply? Well, actually, that's really easy. You can just bow your head a little, smile, and say yoroshiku onegaishimasu back to them. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I see. It's kind of like a phrase used to form good relationship. Yeah, I also use Yoroshiku no Gaishimasu all the time. When I use it with Japanese people, I really feel like I'm part of their culture and society. So, since we've learned a really good new word, Kono Japan Easy, Yoroshiku no Gaishimasu.